Hello everyone, welcome to Texture Myth. In this session, we will discuss about another few medical terminology related prefixes, uh, which is uh, used in order to uh, provide some information related to body part. Okay, so prior to this session, also like we have discussed various types of uh, uh, prefixes that uh, we used in order to so showcase some information related to a uh, body part, shape, size, color and other types of information right so this session is in the continuation of the same and right now we are in the part 39 so if you have not worked through the previous session then I recommend you to go and check out the previous session first because uh, these all session are, sessions are in a proper sequence so that would help you to uh, grab the concepts more easily right but for those like who are directly referring this session, let me repeat the definition for prefix. Like what is prefix in medical terminology? So prefix is just a, a word that uh, that is attached at the beginning of any terminology, and from there it provides some information, and that in that information uh, could be related to the body part, uh, could be related to the uh, shape, size, color, and other properties as well. So these all things are depend on the prefix. So that's why it is uh, very important to learn about the prefix first because once uh, you are comfortable with prefixes meaning then it would be uh, much easier for you to identify the actual meaning of the medical terminology okay so yeah and uh, now like how we are going to proceed with the session first of all I'll tell you uh, I'll show you some uh, prefixes and will explain you uh, the meaning of prefixes and then later we will uh, also cover some examples related to those prefixes because without examples uh, the things would be not that much of easier for us because at the end uh, maybe in interviews or an in the examination we are uh, supposed to identify the medical terminology okay so that's why we are covering the examples for each and every prefix that we are going to learn today so let's start with the first prefix which is vesculo now what is vesculo vesculo is a prefix which we use uh, or which is used in the medical terminology in order to showcase the information related to the blood vessel okay so whenever there is a discussion related to the blood vessel then in that case we, we will use the prefix vesculo okay now uh, we will walk through some examples the first example is vasculature what is vasculature Vasculature means uh, it refers to a network of blood vessels in a particular area or organ. So just assume a body part where uh, where multiple blood vessels are grouped together and form some network like structure. Then this thing that this structure we will denote with the help of uh, terminology vasculature. Okay. So vasculature is a complete medical terminology which which is initiated by the prefix vasculo okay likewise if you look at the second example which is vasculitis as we have already covered various examples so far so I think now you have idea about the itis as well although it is not a prefix but uh, we know that itis is always used whenever there is a discussion related to inflammation okay so when uh, vascue means uh, related to the blood vessel and itis means related to inflammation so from itself from the word itself like it is clear that it is an inflammation of the blood vessel okay now if you read the definition it is written here an inflammation of blood vessel uh, vessels which can affect arteries vein or capillaries okay then similarly if you look at the third example which is vasodilation what is vasodilation now sorry vasodilation so vaso is also a kind of alternative prefix for this blood vessel so just make a note of it that vasculo or vaso both are used and even it is possible that uh, there are other alternative names as well for the blood vessel but for time being we are just focusing on two prefixes uh, or you can say two alternative prefixes which is vasculature uh, vascu vasculo or vaso okay so the third example is started with a vaso which is vasodilation now what is vasodilation uh, wi the widening or relaxation of a blood vessel uh, which leads to increase the blood flow 
so let's say just uh, just because of some uh, kind of blockage if uh, the blood flow is reduced then in that case uh, doctors will perform one process which is known as vasodilation and in this process uh, the widening or relaxation of blood vessel is performed which leads to increase the blood flow okay now if you look at the second uh, fourth example the last example for this prefix here it is mentioned vasospasm now what is a vasospasm it is a su uh, sudden contraction of blood vessel causing reduced blood flow so this thing uh, you you can consider as a problem and for which we uh, perform some operation to treat this uh, type of uh, disease and which is co uh, which is known as vasodilation because in vasodilation we are widening or really relaxing the blood vessel which it leads to increased blood flow and in fourth example vasospasm a sudden contraction of blood vessels causing a uh, redu reduced blood flow so in this situation a patient uh, feel a patient is suffering from a sudden contraction of blood vessel and due to which bl uh, the blood flow is reduced okay so now if you look at all these example again you will find only one common thing here which is blood vessel everywhere we are talking about the blood vessels got it fine so let's move to the next example next prefix which is ven or veno now ven or veno prefix is mainly used in order to showcase something as vein so whenever there is a discussion related to vein we will use we can use either of the prefix uh, either the when or when for example first example is venous now what is venous pertaining to the veins okay likewise if you look at the second example which is venography venography means a diagnostic procedure that involves imaging vein using contrast material then this th type of procedure is known as venography similarly we have another example which is venipuncture now what is venipuncture the process of puncturing a vein to uh, collect blood or administer medic uh, medication okay so this type of process where the doctor is puncturing the vein to collect some uh, some blood uh, samples or you can say uh, administer the medication then this thing we will denote with the terminology veni puncture which is started with the prefix ven okay and now in the fourth example and the last example for this uh, prefix is venule what is venule a small vein that carries blood from capillaries to larger vein so what it do like uh, it it uh, carries the blood from the uh, venula venule is a small vein which carries the blood from capillaries to larger vein okay so if you look at all these example again you will find only one common thing which is vein everywhere we are talking about the vein okay so let's move to the last and uh, third prefix for this session which is vertebrae vertebrae means vertebra or spine so whenever there is a discussion around spine or whenever you want to showcase in the information related to spine then in that case you can use the prefix vertebrae so here I have noted down couple of examples for the same so let's walk through one by one each example first one is vertebra which means an individual bone segment of the spinal column likewise if you look at the second example which is vertebral column which means the entire structure formed by the series of vertebrae okay so when multiple uh, vertebra uh, co uh, combined and forms a structure then this thing we will denote with the help of vertebra column similarly you can read it here the entire structure formed by the series of vertebra is known as vertebral column then in third example we are talking about the vertebral foramen what is vertebral foramen the opening in each vertebra through which the spinal cord passes so this thing we will denote with the help of terminology vertebral foramen now in the last example we are talking about the vertebral arc which is the posterior part of the vertebra that surrounds the spinal cord okay so again if you walk through again all these example then you will find only one common thing in between them which is spinal cord or spine and that's the reason we are using the prefix vertebrae okay 
so yeah these are the three prefixes which I would like to share with you all in this session I hope it is clear to all of you and for today there is only one question like what information is provided by the prefix Ferengo and Felebo so if you know the answer then please share your knowledge in the comment section but if you have any doubt in this uh, uh, topic then you can refer the previous session where we have already discussed these things in detail okay so yeah that's all for today in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech share